Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Rai and this is Rai's Reading Corner. And today I'm going to be taking you on a bookshelf tour. Again, hello, I'm Rai and this is Rai's Reading Corner. If this is the first time you are seeing my face or if you have not yet hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate if you would do so and it is super, super easy. It really helps my channel grow too. So, as you can tell from my little introduction and the thumbnail, today I'm finally giving you a bookshelf tour. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I've been working really hard at perfecting my bookshelves. So I decided I would do a little bookshelf tour for you. So recently I have done a tour of all of my unread books, so check that out, I'll be in the thumbnail or in the thumbnail, oh my gosh, in the cards above and in the description box. So I'm not going to go through all of my unread bookshelves. I do have them separated by what I've read and have not read. So today I am only going to do my bookshelf tour of all of my read books. So I generally um, break my books up by a genre. So for example, I have like um, thrillers in one section, YA contemporaries. I do separate YA contemporaries from adult romance contemporaries. And yeah, so um, grab something relaxing um, and I'm going to go through this. I probably won't take all every single book on my bookshelf because that would be forever and there'd be a lot of editing and I just don't have time for that. And honestly, you can really see the books on my bookshelf pretty well, but I will be taking some out that maybe are my favorite or that I really like the cover to show all of you. So sit back, relax, and we will check back in after we've given the tour. So this is my first bookshelf. I just do Target bookshelves. I unfortunately don't have an Ikea near me. I know I could order online, but I'm impatient. So this is my first shelf. My bed's like right here, so I'm trying not to show it to you. And that is my book cart that I keep on the side. That's kind of a hot mess. So let's go into my very first shelf, which are my um, adult thrillers. So I have this little cup here. This is from... Um, What's, why am I drawing a blank? This is from Lisa, no, Ruth, this is from Ruth's Wear, Turn of a Key. Wow, losing my mind. I just have some extra things here from book boxes. So I have my Lisa Jewel collections right here. I think my favorite Lisa Jewel one is The Family Upstairs, which I know is kind of an unpopular opinion, but I really do like that one, and I really do like that she was gone. And then I go into my Ruth Wear collection. I enjoyed a lot of them. I think my um, favorite is maybe in a dark, dark wood or um, obviously Turn Up the Key. And then this is my Riley Sager collection. These are all of his books. I do keep them all as book of the month books because I feel like they look really nice on my shelf. Um, and this goes in his publication order. This being his first book he published and this being the last. And I have this cute little glass with these fake flowers from Target. So that is my first adult thriller shelf and now we're gonna move on to my second adult thriller shelf okay so this is again adult thrillers horror there is one ya thriller in here i think this shelf does have yeah this shelf does have a mixture of some ya thrillers um just because i needed room so i have a little plant here and so I have um, the Southern um, Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, Ace of Spades, which I love, Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, The Lies Be Told by Camilla Way, Lucy's Foley, The Guest List, which I actually might unhaul, to be honest, because it's not something that I really enjoyed, No Exit by Taylor Adams, Every Value Break by Peter Swanson. This was a disappointment for me, and I'm really, really bummed because I really enjoyed Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. So I liked that one. I have Paula Daly, uh, What Kind of Mother Are You um, Still Missing by Chevy Stevens. So these are kind of some more um, not as well known thrillers. Um, we Have Always Lived in a Castle is uh, more of a horror book. We have Bunny by Mona Awad. Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. One by John Mars, which I really loved. And The Project by Courtney Summers, which unfortunately was kind of a disappointment. And then we go over to some of one of my favorite thriller authors, and this is Jillian Flynn. So Dark Places, so good. It's by the author of Gone Girl. I would say Jillian Flynn's really what got me into thrillers. I think one of my favorite ones is Sharp Objects by here. You can tell these are very loved books. Let me put these back on this bookshelf. 
Then I have a YA and it is What Happened to Jeannie and the Face on the Milk Carton. This is the first one. This is the sequel. Really creepy series. I really enjoyed this one. They are older. Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Another Jillian Flynn one. So again, these are some of my adult thrillers with a little mix of YA and some horror as well. So my next shelf is kind of like contemporaries YA with some adult. This is not my favorite shelf that I have, but I'm definitely working on it. So I have a little fake plant over here and I have displayed Blackout. I like to display like some of my favorite recent reads and this is one of them. It is an anthology. So good. So I am going to move that. So over here I have The Prophet Calls, which actually this is middle grade, so it should not be here. But this is like a, um, it's really, really interesting. It's about um, living like in an Amish community and kids want not wanting to be part of that anymore. So I'm actually going to change this to my middle grade shelf. I have The Nowhere Girls. This book is so good. If you have not read it and the cover is absolutely gorgeous. It's by Amy Reed. I highly recommend it. We have Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel and Salmon. The Voting Booth by Brandi Colbert. Slay. The Poet X Twisted Dumplin' and down here I have Dear Edward and American Dirt. These are both adult Dear Edwards. If you're looking for a book that's going to make you cry 100%, I would recommend Dear Edward. Then I'm going to jump over here and this is Instructions for Dancing by Nicole Yoon. I loved this book. It is also just such a pretty cover so I loved that. And then my other one here is The Hate List, and this is by Jennifer Brown. I really enjoy this book. It's very um... Some definitely check up trigger warnings. It is about a school shooting and it's told from the perspective of the school shooter's girlfriend who people are blaming her because she helped create the list but didn't have the intentions of killing. But yeah, it's a really good book. And then The Lovely Bones. This is like an old copy as you can tell. Uh, we Were Liars by E. Lockhart, Point of Retreat, and Slam by Colleen Hoover. These were like my first Colleen Hoover books. Jodi Picoult, 19 Minutes. This is another school shooting book. Very good, but check trigger warnings. Kiss Broken Glass. This is about a girl that has to go into a mental hospital, um, and it is told in verse. And then Speak is one of those OG books that is one of my favorites of all time. So again, this is kind of like a mishmash shelf. I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah. <laughs> So this is my favorite shelf. It's a bunch of my queer books, which are tend to be my favorite. I kind of got it in like a little rainbow-esque and I have this really cute fake plant that has a little rainbow on it. So we'll start up here. Again, I have an unfacing out. I have the falling in love montage by Sierra Smith, one of my favorites. Then I have the heart stoppers. I do have the second one. I just had it out. I was reading it not that long ago. Black Flamingo, Clap When You Land, Felix Ever After, The Hunt Wars by Adiba Jagodar. Love this book. Um, you should see me in a crown by Leah Johnson. The Passing Playbook, mm, spectacular. Um, Honey Issues Guide to Fake Dating. The Knockout Queen by Rufi Thorpe. I have two copies of Stay Gold by Toby McSmith because this is one of my favorite books of all time. And this paper cover is literally absolutely gorgeous. So then I have One Last Stop by Casey McQuinston. Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. Loveless by Ellis Oseman. I have a pumpkin coming into view here. I have Last Night at the Telegraph Club by um, Melinda Lowe. I just read this. It's so good. The Taking of the Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. Yes, this is horror, but it does have a pretty big um, queer rep in it. Seven Husbands of Evan Hugo, one of my favorite books of all time. Aristotle and Dante and Discover the Secrets of the Universe. And None of the Above by I.W. Um, Gregorio. I highly recommend this book. Okay, so this bottom shelf is one of those ones where I'm not loving, <laughs> and I have room. It's kind of like my miscellaneous shelf. I am still working on this one. I just got my little pumpkin for fall. I have They Called Us the Enemy, and this is by um, George Taki. He's from Star Trek. This is such a great graphic novel. I have Sheets, and then Pumpkin Heads, Witchy, A Monster Calls. I know it's technically not a graphic novel, but it's kind of like a, just a different shaped book. And I know Horror Store is not a graphic novel, but again, it's kind of just a book that shaped kind of funny. I have volume one of Paper Girls. So these are like my graphic novels and kind of books that don't have like a normal shape. Over here are some of my favorite nonfiction books and historical fiction. I do have other ones. I just, maybe I'll move them up here now that I've redone my shelves, but I have Neil Patrick Harris's autobiography. It's Choose Your Own. It's so good. The Port Chicago 50. This book is so good and really informative. Um, another How I Met Your Mother book. I have In the Striped, The Boy in Striped Pajamas, and then I have, well, they dumped them all over, Kristen Hanna's The Great Alone, one of my favorite books of all time. 
the book date and then this little speech that lauren graham did the girls play lorelei and gilmore girls um this is a speech that she did at her high school so again this shelf is kind of like a work in progress i sometimes usually put that sign there i have the pumpkin there um but it gives me some extra wiggle room to put some more things in here Okay, so here's my second shelf. I have another basket, and I also have my collection of the Mockingjay or Hunger Games, two Barnes and Nobles collections, and some um, special editions of Frankenstein. And my finger looks so weird there. So this is kind of what this shelf looks like. Um, the bottom shelf is um, books I have not read, so I'm not going to be going over those ones today. Again, check out that other video. Okay, so this top shelf is kind of, again, um, split into two. So I have some overflow of some fantasy. And then I have some middle grades with Amari and the Night Brothers kind of sticking out because it is one of my favorite books of all time. And you do notice I have these like little lights coming up. I do like them. It just kind of gives a little bit of a light. <laughs> so I have this little box from one of my book boxes. I have The Poppy War, Lost in the Neverwoods, Hunting in the Deep by Adriana Mather. Definitely go check her books out. They're really good and not talked about enough. And I have A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Then I go into my middle grade. So here's the middle grade that was on the wrong shelf. I have The Book Wanderers. I just put a vlog out reading about it. Go check it out. I love this book. Mystery of Black Colleen, City of Ghosts, which was also included in that reading vlog. Dead Voices, Nevermore, Coraline, Blended. 100% go to read this book. It is so good. Um, it reminds me a lot of The Hate You Give. And then I have one of my childhood favorites, which is the, from the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frank Willer. A Goosebumps book, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I love this book. If you're looking for like a Halloween-y, spooky read, but nothing too scary, I recommend this one. And this one I could put on that other shelf, but I do have it with my middle grades right now. And this is George by Alex Gino. So if you're looking for a book that touches about transgender in middle grade or like elementary grades, I highly recommend this book. Okay, so here is another fantasy shelf. So I have um, the selection series with this cute little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Star it has like push pins in it. Then I have Girls of Paper and Fire, Miss Peregrine's Hope for the Killer Children. I do have some science fiction books, dystopian books in here because I don't have enough of the science fiction books to have its own shelf. So I have Red Rising, The Darkest Mind and Sight. And then I have my Red Queen series. So this is one of my favorite series. So I do have a special edition of the Red Queen. I have King's Cage, War Stream, Glass Sword, and Cruel Crown. I just need to get a hardcover of Glass Sword and then I'll be satisfied with this one. So I have this also bookmark that I keep keep on here. It's kind of hard to see so I've moved my ring light so you can see it better. And I also have this red queen pen again. I turned the ring light off so you guys can kind of see this better. So rise red as the dawn. Okay so my next shelf is a bunch of my YA thriller mystery books. So I have a cute little fake plant and these really cute salt and pepper shakers. I don't even know where I got them from. From like a book box. So I have I Killed Zoe Spanos, which I didn't love the book, but the book has blue sprayed edges, so it's really pretty. Then I have some old Pretty Little Liar books, which again, I don't know why I still have them on my shelf. I'll probably eventually get rid of them, but they just look really pretty, so that's why I have those. I have um, some Karen McManus books. I have The Cousins, One of Us is Lying, and One of Us is Next. Actually, my favorite one by this author is Two Can Keep a Secret, which I actually don't have, but it's my favorite. I have Holly Jackson's um, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and Good Girl Blood Bud. I would love to get a hardcover of this one. I have Darling Rose Gold, Hunting November, which again is by Adriana Mather, and it goes with Killing November, but I don't like to do, like, I like to do all my hardcovers most of the time together, but I know this one's kind of thrown off, but maybe I'll change that. <laughs> um, great series, pick her books up. I have Time Bomb, Truly Devious, and then I have two Natasha Preston books, The Cabin and The Lost. So again, YA thrillers, and yeah, this shelf, I'm okay with. All right, so the next one is a little mix mash of fantasy with some science fiction-y stuff. So I have my favorite series here, which is the program series. I am missing books four and five. I let them, someone borrow them and they never return them. So I need to complete this series because it is my favorite. And then I have Girls with Razor Hearts and Girls with Sharp Six. These are also by Suzanne Young. I do have the third one. I need to read that when it came out this year. I have The Shadows Between Us, which is one of my new favorite fantasy books. If you're looking for a kind of fantasy with women positivity, I highly suggest this one. TJ Klune, The House on the Cerulean Sea, The Midnight Library I just read and loved. I have House of Hollow, which this could go, honestly, on my horror shelf, like thrillers or fantasy. I have it here right now. I have Sorcery of Thorns by, um, is it Rogerson something? I can't think of her first name. Margaret Rogerson. 
this usually goes over here, but <laughs> it's a little coffee um, tea, coffee, a tea um, cup and a saucer, and it's from like Narnia. It's literally so cute. And then I also have all of my um, Every Heart of Throwaway by Shani McGuire series. And then here I have a little cute tray, and I just keep that in there. So there it is, that shelf. And again, the bottom is all the books I haven't read, so I'm not going to be going over that today. Okay, so my next shelves are over here, and again, some of these shelves I have been working on. So I do have one shelf that um, has not been completely filled yet, and one book that has TBR books, so I will not be going over this one, but we are going to start off with my first shelf, which is my witchy shelf. So I have this cute little tray I absolutely love. I have Once in Future Witches, Kingdom of the Wicked, The Year of the Witching, I love. I do have two copies of The Cemetery Boys. I was planning on putting one in my classroom, but they both look different, so I might keep them. I have The Ravens, which I absolutely love. The Wicked Deep, which I didn't care for, but this cover is gorgeous, so I have it. How to Hang a Witch, again, is by Adriana Mather. Go get this book, it's so good. I have this, these won't break. This cover won't break and these witches don't burn by Isabella Sterling. One of my favorite. I actually just got this copy because it is signed because um, she's a local author to me. I have a little fake plant. I have my tarot cards, which are the night before Christmas, which is so cute. And then I have the Hocus Pocus book, which is just absolutely gorgeous. So this is a book completely shelf, completely dedicated to all my witchy books because those are some of my favorite books. Okay, so my next shelf is my Sarah J. Mass shelf. So I have this. It's a Court of Thorns and Roses, and it's like an earring holder, but like I just think it's really pretty, so I just kind of keep it on display. I also do have, I just got two of the original copies. I have a Court of Wings and Ruin. I just found it in my local bookstore, brand new, and a Court of Frost and Starlight. This is probably one of my favorite covers ever. And then I do have the paperback copy of A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I do need to also get one of the new ones to match all of these. And then I have, this is from, um, not from this series, but it is still pretty. So I keep it up here. I have a candle. It is a summer court candle. I have the Valeris coffee mug, um, City of Style. And I think it like, it's kind of like chromey. It's hard to see where I keep all of my bookmarks. So that is my Sarah J. Mass shelf, and this kind of goes out like this. All right, so my next one is my adult romance shelf, and I love the way this shelf looks. So I have my Brown Sister books. I have the X Talk, Beach Read, The Hun Honeymooners, Second First Impressions. Baking Under the Mistletoe is such a good indie uh, romance. Definitely pick that up. Ships, I absolutely love, and The Hating Game is one of my favorite romances of all time. I have Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers, The Flat Shore by Beth O'Leary. I love this book. I need to read more of her books. Nicholas Sparks, don't come at me about this one, but this one has a lot of like thriller um, kind of parts to it, which is why I still have it. The 12 Days of Christmas, which is really kind of, it was a cute book, but not my favorite. And then I have To All the Boys I Loved series with a little plan. So I absolutely love this shelf. I think it just looks so cute. So this is one of my shelves that actually just has become available because I just got another bookshelf. So it is kind of bare, but I will be adding to it. So I have my Cruel Prince series here. Um, I have The King of Elfland, which is the most gorgeous book ever. And then I also have this Cruel Prince coffee mug. I have this tin, The Magic and Madness book. And then I also have my From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armin Trout. I do have the third one, which I'm struggling to read. So like I said, this bookshelf is a work in progress, but I did want to leave some empty space because obviously I'm going to be getting more books because I have lots of unread books. Okay, this is my last book -ish, um, shelf that are my read books and it's my pride and joy. So first I have this A Little Plant and then I got the Six of Crows in this book box and I just kept it. I have this beautiful edition of Crooked Kingdom with the red sprayed edges and the inside is red as well. Check out my Prettiest Books I Own video to see what that looks like. And then I have my Pride and Joy. So I have Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, and my Shadow and Poem series. I have King of Skies. And I have not read Roll of Wolves, but I have kept this here because I just like on the shelf. And then I am going to be getting more flowers for this one, which is why that is empty. So again, then the rest of that shelf is all of my unread books. So kind of a little glimpse around my room. It's a mess, but you can kind of see. So these shelves are definitely, my son just put all those there. <laughs> I'm in the process of putting um, my fall stuff. So these ones are pretty full. And like I said, I did get some new bookshelf, which is why these ones are kind of a work in progress. Okay, 
we are back um i hope you enjoyed my little bookish tour of my bookshelves some of them are still a work in progress i recently did get a new shelf for my tbr books so i was able to remove them some from my other books so now i have a little bit more room on my bookshelf for my red books so that's why some of the spaces are a little bit empty but i have almost two, i probably have, I have 200 books that i have to read to fill those shelves so let me know down in the comments below how you organize your books shelves i'm always looking for new ideas i'm obsessed with doing my books so please let me know down in the comments below so if you want to take this crazy journey with me please make sure you press that subscribe button if you're my friend on any of my other social media platforms tiktok instagram and um what did i forget tiktok instagram and twitter oh my gosh <laughs> All the information is linked down below. So stay kind of loves and I'll see you next time. Bye.